Texas Math Mundo audience, are we in store for a treat today? In the house, nine-time UIL state champion, Nicholas Ellison, the pride of Woodsboro High School, a proud eagle. He's been a, a friend of the channel all these years, and I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to give him a final farewell. He's uh, arguably the GOAT of UIL Mathematics, Nicholas Ellison, right ahead. Let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, could you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you leave a comment below, and you smash that like button. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's spread this joy, let's spread this beauty to as many people as possible. Nicholas Ellison, possibly the GOAT of UIL Mathematics, Nine-time state champions, the proud of Woodsboro, right ahead. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Are we in store for a truly special street to treat today? In the house, nine time, that's right, nine time state champion, Nicholas Ellison. And keep in mind, his freshman year was canceled because of COVID. He also, this past year, had a clean sweep, such a rare event. He won state in number sense, calculator, math, and science, a rare event. Some would argue that he's the GOAT of UIL mathematics. Nicholas Ellison in the house. Welcome, buddy. Hi. Hey, I can't tell you how happy you know uh, that I am uh, that you're here. I really appreciate it. You've been so kind to the to the to the channel all these years, hosting a live stream, doing several interviews, and so I, I had to uh, get this opportunity to, to to do one final interview with the goat of UIL mathematics, man. I'm happy to be here too. Great, great. Hey. How's it going? What have you been doing with your summer? It's been going pretty good. I've been studying math, doing college placement exams, getting prepared to move to college. And then I wanted to practice learning how to use latex, so I made a mini UIL website. Oh, really? You did a UIL website? Yes, I just started a few weeks ago, and hey. I'm still adding some more stuff. If you give me the link, I'll put it in the notes below. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, LaTeX or whatever, I, uh, it's the best uh, math typesetting program, right? That's beautiful stuff. Yeah. Yes. Hey, so you, uh, beauty counts. You want to produce beautiful math papers. Yes. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Hey, so uh, you've done some interviews with me before. You hosted a live stream, so you've given me a lot, and I so appreciate it. Today, i got eight questions for you, okay? Eight questions. Question number one. What has UIL meant to you over the last few years? UIL has been a part of my life. I usually practiced at least three hours every day for it. Through UIL, I learned many things, not only related to math, but to life itself. I learned how to study and work hard, and I learned resilience in the face of defeat, whether that be losing a competition or not understanding a math problem. Hey, you make several good points, man. <laughs> That's great, exactly. Life lessons. Uh, you learn how to grow from your defeats. That's and, then also, yeah. and then also helps, helps you work with other people and how to be a team leader. There's so much beauty to UIL, man. That's a great answer. Great answer. What is your favorite memory from the last few years? There's been a lot of them, but I think my favorite one was my introduction to UIL. I remember in seventh grade, the math teacher was telling me about the high school coach named Mr. Dunn. I was nervous at first, but then I summoned enough courage to go and try practice one time. I remember my mom walking me in, and then she introduced me to Mr. Dunn, since he was her teacher too. Then Mr. Dunn walked me up to the board and started teaching me number sense memorizations, like numbers squared and fractions. Ever since then, I was really excited about UIL and went to every practice after, afterwards. That was like my introduction into high school UIL. 
So awesome. that's why it's one of my favorite memories. Awesome, awesome. And what a wonderful road that's been. Mr. Dunn, and she taught your mom? Yes. She taught your mom? Why? Wow. Hey, because you're a proud Woodsboro family for generations. Yeah. Uh, so a proud eagle. Yeah. All right. Which of your nine gold medals do you value the most? Probably my junior year calculator medal because that one symbolized what's possible through defeat. Because my sophomore year, I had lost calculator to tie, and that was really horrible, so I spent the whole next year working really hard at calculator, and then I had won first overall in calculator, and that wouldn't have been possible without losing. Wow. So, yes, for, uh, you and Ty Schaller had quite a rivalry through the years. Yes. And you were the top scorer in the state. Yes, yeah, so for junior year in calculator. I love how you mentioned you let defeat fuel your fire. You let defeat fuel your fire and it drove you to excellence. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, this is probably one of our final interviews for a while because you're headed off to the next chapter in your life. Who would you like to shout out for the final time here? First, I'd like to shout out my family for all the support they have given me, especially my mom and dad. I'd also like to shout out my coaches, Mr. Dunn, Mr. Albright, and Mr. Holland for all the dedication and countless hours they put into UIL. I'd like to shout out all of my teammates I've had since seventh grade for all the times we practiced together and competed, whether we won or lost. I'd like to shout out my teammates that finished my uh, senior year with me, Renee, Joelle, Katie, Brayden, Luke, Alexis, and Joel. I'd also like to shout out friends I've made through UIL, and such as Doreen and then Jonathan and then the uh, Three Rivers team for practicing with me and supporting me along the way. Then I'd like to shout out my rivals, Ty and his team from Sabine Pass, and then Carter and his team from Latexo for motivating me to do better. And then finally, I'd like to shout out everybody in the UIL community. Test riders, coaches, competitors, you for what you've done for it, and then everybody else who's made UIL what it is. What a wonderful shout out. What a wonderful shout out, man. I think each one of us is a fan of you in our own way, man. I'm a big fan. I've been a big fan for a long time. Great shout out. Thank you. Now, Nine-time state champion, arguably the GOAT of UIL mathematics. You know, you got that, as being, at least in the modern generation. What advice would you give the youngsters who come across this? Don't be discouraged if everything's overwhelming at first, or if you're not making the scores you want to be making. Just keep practicing and know that some, everybody has to start from somewhere. Also value the relationships you form in UIL, whether it be coaches, teammates, or friends, because they will help you along your journey. Awesome, great, 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 great advice. All right, what does the future have in store for you? Nine times state champion, GOAT of UIL Mathematics. What's the future have in store for you? I'll be moving into Harvard on August the 24th, and I'll plan to continue to compete in competitive mathematics like the Putnam exam. And then we don't declare our concentration of study until our second year. But right now I'm thinking, I'm thinking it'll be mathematics and maybe doubling with biomedical engineering. Wow, wow. At this moment, I'm still undecided on what career I want to go into. But I hope to figure all that out in college. Hey, it's an exciting time in your life. Man. I'm so excited for you. Going off to Harvard, all these great minds. Uh, and this is so exciting. I hope you're enjoying the moment, man. Yes. Will you stay connected to Woodsboro and the UIL community? Yes, I'll stay connected to Woodsboro since most of my close family live here. I'll also st uh, stay connected with UIL because it's played such an important role in my life. Although I'll no longer be able to compete, I still wish to be a part of it and help others learn. Hey, and mi casa su casa. You ever want to come back and do an instructional video or be connected? Hey, you're more than welcome to use my channel. And we got the Discord. You can stay. You can stay connected through the Discord. Yes. Awesome. All right. So here's your final question. The floor is yours. What are your final words, parting thoughts for the UIL community? 
The floor is yours. I want everybody to know that when I started, my number since score was in the 30s and 40s, and I would have never imagined I would have been where I am today. And the journey through UIL isn't a straight path. There'll be twists, turns, and bumps. But if you continue through the challenges to your goal, you'll find the beauty in all of the things you have achieved. Beautiful, wonderful party words and thoughts, man. So I need to say something, man. I personally appreciate your kindness and support for this channel, man. Way back when I was our first starting, I reached out to you and you were uh, you agreed and I, uh, to, to come on. I'm so appreciative, man. Your name has probably been the name I've said the most in my results show the last few years. You just kept on impressing, kept on impressing, kept on working hard, and you deserve every ounce of spotlight, every ounce of recognition, and everything that comes to you. But congratulations, you got to, to Harvard University, and I know that the future's bright for you, man. Thank you. I hope our paths cross many times, man. I really do hope our paths cross many times. I uh, do, too. You know? Uh, and I want to wish you a sincere and heartfelt Heartfelt, sincere, good luck and best wishes. You are the you, you're the pride of Woodsboro, and now you're the pride of Texas, man. Go over to Harvard, show them how we do things here in Texas. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and farewell, Nicholas Ellison. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Take care. Wow, what an incredible young man. What a wonderful example for, for our youth. And I wish him the best of luck as he heads over to Harvard. Nicholas Ellison has always been so kind and gracious and giving to this channel. I really appreciate you, buddy. Thank you and good luck. And I look forward to communicating with you in the future as well. Let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, that you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you leave a comment below, and that you smash that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's spread this joy and let's spread this beauty to as many people as possible. I got plenty of wonderful things in store for this channel, and I truly appreciate your support. My name is Saul Tantu, and this is Texas Math. Mundo. Farewell.